underground when you hear an explosion. Fire and debris rain down on you. You're alive but trapped hundreds of meters below the surface of the earth with no way out. You're low on food, water, light, and air. At any moment, you could be buried under a shower of rubble. Here's how to survive. Being trapped in a mine. Underground mines are deep, very deep. While the average mine descends about 300 meters, there are some, like uranium mines, that can go 2,000 meters into the earth. Now that's deep. Modern mines are more than just a big hole in the ground. They are made with ventilation shafts to circulate oxygen and clear out toxic fumes, and water draining systems to keep them dry. Additional shafts are built to accommodate the transportation of equipment or for escape. But when the unthinkable happens, you could be trapped without access to any of these. Mines can collapse due to explosions of methane gas or coal dust, or from landslides caused by surface flooding. How could digging deeper into the mine save your life? If you survive the initial event, how could you stay alive for days or even weeks? And how can you alert rescuers? Step one, grab your breathing device. In the event of a mine collapse, immediately reach for your breathing apparatus. Miners use a device called an SCSR, or self-contained self-rescuer. SCSRs can provide oxygen and air filtration for at least one hour, which could allow you precious time to hang a gas curtain to keep out dangerous chemicals and smoke. SCSRs weigh about seven pounds, so not every miner carries one on their person. In the US, additional SCSRs are legally required to be stored throughout the mine. Keep this device close by. It could save your life. Step two, find shelter. If you haven't been crushed or burned alive, you'll need somewhere safe to wait until you can be rescued. This may require you to go further into the mine. Don't be afraid of heading into the darkness. While it may seem dangerous, it will be safer and more stable. In August 2010, 33 Chilean miners became trapped in the San Jose mine after a collapse. They set up a small shelter near a tunnel. They had meager supplies but through rationing survived the first 17 days underground before being contacted by rescuers. They were lucky to have a chemical toilet for waste, tuna, cookies, and milk to keep them going. No between meal snacks. Coal miners of the Sago mine in West Virginia were not so lucky. When 13 miners were trapped underground in 2006 by an explosion, they managed to hang a barrier to keep out carbon monoxide. Unfortunately, Smoke obstructed the flow of air, and only one miner survived after the rest of their crew suffocated. Step three, make contact. In order to escape, you will need to be rescued. Most modern mines are fitted with communication networks, but these may be damaged or inaccessible due to the collapse. The Chilean miners were able to alert rescuers by sticking a note to the head of an exploratory drill which rescuers then found when they retracted it. Rescuers were able to locate the miners and provide them with food and medical supplies, as well as fiber optic cables to call their loved ones. In the case of the lone survivor of the Sago mine disaster, rescuers found him by the sound of his moans. However you make contact, telling rescuers where you are and that you're alive despite the odds are essential to making it out of the mine. Step four. Practice discipline. Once rescuers find you, you may end up waiting days or even weeks to be released. Carefully ration your food and find ways to stave off boredom. Playing simple games and cleaning the shelter area can help. You may experience intense heat deeper in the mine, so staying hydrated is vital. Regular exercise can also help save your life in unexpected ways. The Chilean miners were placed on a rigid diet by rescuers to help them lose weight which made them smaller and easier to extract through a narrow shaft. Step five, ascend. Getting out of the mine will not be easy. When the Chilean miners were extracted, they were loaded onto a torpedo-shaped capsule created specifically for rescue. This was then pulled through a drilled shaft. 
The capsule design protected the miners in case of the shaft collapsing. Miners trapped in the Totten mine in Sudbury, Canada, were stuck 1,200 meters underground when a heavy piece of machinery crushed and broke the elevator shaft. The miners had to climb out using a series of ladders placed by the rescuers. It took hours of climbing spread over three days and required frequent rest. Climb carefully. The last thing you want is to fall deeper into the mine. Being trapped underground is many people's worst nightmare. But if you're careful and prepared, you substantially increase your chances of survival. Being trapped in a mine would be bad enough, but what about being buried alive? Is there any way to dig yourself out? Find out more here on How to Survive.